When you're bringing the heat, make sure your boost tubes can handle the pressure with DinoJet's upgraded and more durable boost tube kit for the Can-Am X3. Hey guys, it's Trevor of DinoJet. Today I'm going to be showing you the install process of our boost tube kit for the Can-Am X3 models. These tubes are more heat resistant and durable over OEM tubes and also offers a location for a blow-off valve which is included in our kit. Let's get started in this install and hopefully you guys learn something along the way. Our first step today for us is going to be removing this back panel that covers the exhaust and removing the exhaust itself. This step is optional and you can get to the actual tubes from either side of the car. It's just going to be easier to show you guys and have a little bit more room with the uh, exhaust out of the way. After removing the exhaust, we're going to go ahead and remove this clutch vent. We're going to go ahead and loosen up the hose clamp with a 7 millimeter. And then go ahead and pull it off the bracket on top just to give us better access to the tubes. Now that you have the clutch vent removed, you'll have access to the clamp that holds your tube that goes from your intercooler to your throttle body. It's going to be a Torx 20 screw that holds this on. You go ahead and remove that and it should allow you to get access to take the rest of the tube off. Now that we have that clamp off that supports the tube, we're going to go ahead and start taking off our throttle body side of the stock tube with a seven millimeter socket. Once you have that loose, we're gonna go ahead and take off the tube side that comes down from the intercooler. Now we have both clamps on both sides of the tube off. We can go ahead and remove the tube I'll go ahead and pull down on the intercooler side. The clamp might come off as you're pulling and finessing this off. Take off the throttle body side. And then just finesse it off till it's completely removed. And then we're going to go ahead and start loosening the clamps on the smaller tube that comes from the turbo to the intercooler. Now the turbo side for that small tube that goes up to the intercooler, the easiest way to get to the hose clamp is just through this access panel that's in between the seats. Just pull it off and then you can take off the hose clamp. Now that you have both hose clamps loosened on the smaller tube, you can go ahead and pull it down off the intercooler and pull the backside off the turbo. Once the stock tubes are off, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our DinoJet tubes on. We're gonna start with the small tube that comes from the turbo up to the intercooler. We're gonna go ahead and use the small clamp that's provided and one of the medium clamps for the intercooler side. Um, the easiest way to put this on is we usually give it a little bit of a spritz on the inside with some silicone spray which helps it pop on a lot easier and go ahead and push it in pop it on the turbo once you have it seated on the turbo then go ahead and push it up on to the intercooler Once you have it on, you can go ahead and slide up your hose clamps, tighten them down with an 11 mil socket.
Now that we have the intercooler side tightened down with the, for the small tube, we can go ahead and tighten down the turbo side. It's also going to be an 11 millimeter. Once you have that tightened up, you could do a pull test on both sides of the tube, make sure it's not going to pop off, and then we can move on to the large tube. Now that we have the small tube on that comes from the turbo and goes up to the intercooler, we're going to put the big tube on now that comes down from the other side of the intercooler down to the throttle body. This tube's a little bit bigger, so you got to finesse it a little bit more to get it in, but we're going to use a large clamp on the throttle body side and another medium clamp on the intercooler side. Best thing to do, just like the small tube, spray a little bit of silicone spray in it. It helps it slide on a little bit better and makes life a whole lot easier. Once you have the tube squeezed back in, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the throttle body side first to hold the tube in place. Once you have the throttle body side tightened, you can go ahead and tighten down the intercooler side. Then you're gonna get tubes back in the bracket. Make sure everything's straight, lined up correctly. Put screw back in. You're gonna tighten that down with a torque 20. We're gonna go ahead now and install our blow-off valve, which is our adjustable blow-off valve, which you can uh, adjust depending on what kind of setup, what kind of boost you're running in the car for different uh, blow-off pressures. So we're gonna go ahead and put this piston side in and then we're going to go ahead and tighten it down and then put the filter on so we can uh, blow off to the atmosphere. Once you have the blow off valve on you can go ahead and tighten down the hose clamp to a seven millimeter socket and go ahead now and install our filter on the blow off valve. Tighten down the clamp the six millimeter socket. Get it nice and snug. Once we have the blow off valve and the filter installed on the tube, we're gonna go ahead and remove this plug that's on the plenum. We're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt and take the plug out and replace it with our fitting. It's gonna be a Torx 30 to remove this bolt. And then go ahead and pull out the plug. Now that the plug's removed, we're gonna go ahead and put our fitting in into the plenum. It's gonna slide into this bracket. I'm gonna pop right in. Give it a good push. Make sure it seats in there. And then we're gonna reinstall the bolt. Once you have it installed, we're going to go ahead and get our vacuum line and install it from the blow off valve to the plenum. What I like to do sometimes is just cut the line to make it a little bit of a cleaner look. So I'll install it on the blow off valve and then get kind of a rough idea of the length that I want. Push it onto the plenum side. And that's it.
Now that we got the boost tube kit installed, we're gonna go ahead and get this car put back together. And there you have it. The installation process of our boost tube kit is complete. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out for more great products for your X3 at dinojet.com. We'll see you later.